Greetings, my name is Esther Hershenhorn, and I serve proudly as one of two regional advisors emeriti of the Illinois SCBWI chapter. But today I am going to be your official flight director for your upcoming full zoom ahead mission. I am here on the ground at Mission Control, so to speak, with Rich Green, who is our illustrator network representative, and Rich will be sharing some technical mechanics so that you can um, take flight and stay in flight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and speaking of flight, your November 13th through 15th mission is one written in the stars, in my humble opinion, to interact to the fullest in our chapters reimagined and now virtual conference so that you can successfully reimagine your children's book career. Think, I love this, one small click for you, one giant leap for your career. I applaud everyone who is embracing this opportunity and I think you should applaud yourselves because I know personally how difficult it is to leave your writing room, to leave your studio, to take your work, your hopes, your fears, your dreams, to bring it to the public. But right now, uh, this, this time, this November, you will be right at home, literally and figuratively, going and growing in the virtual world, and you don't even have to suit up. The conference officially begins at noon on Friday, November 13th, when you click on your personal launch, personal launch page link. That is the correct name, correct. personal launch page? Personal pad? launch page. Launch, personal launch page link. The link, I believe, will be emailed to you the day before, and right then and there, you'll see your customized schedule, and you will know all the links that you will need to activate in order to participate. But there are some things you can do pre-launch before you lift off. And actually, I think there are things that you should do if you wish to fully maximize this experience. And I have made a list. So number one, familiarize yourself with the event's schedule, faculty, learning and connecting opportunities, as well as all the extras. You should be reading the books of the faculty, uh, the books that are written, illustrated, edited, art directed, agented. You should visit websites of the publishers, the authors, the illustrators, the agents. You should become what I call an educated consumer. So in this case, an educated participant. That's number one, familiarize yourself. Number two is to really evaluate where you are in your children's book creator's journey. Are you at the beginning where you're learning the formats, you're learning the process? Are you maybe on task for a few years and so now you need to hone your craft? Perhaps you've been there for many years on this journey and now you need to polish your words, you need to polish your art and you need to figure out your submission opportunities with editors and agents. Or maybe you're a published and listed author, a PAL member, and so now you're, you're doing your darndest to get your books to the gatekeepers so that they can get to the hands and hearts of readers. So you really need to evaluate, know where you are in your journey. Number three, then you have to be really honest and determine what you want, what you need, and what you're wishing for. In fact, I would ask that you think of three things that you want, three things that you need, three things that you're, you're wishing for, then choose the one most important for each category, star that, and then think about all of the aspects of our storytelling lives that this conference will uh, include, the process, the craft, the children's book world, the writing community, the illustrator community, gatekeepers, uh, the body of literature, social media, our all important professional community. Uh, think about that. And then number four, because focus is everything, select your most important want, need, wish. Then identify those conference offerings that will match up nicely with that. And then choose that offering so that you can fully fulfill that want, need, and wish. 
You have lots of possibilities, thanks to the planners of this terrific conference. There are keynote addresses, there are craft breakouts with Ask Me Anything sessions and office hours to, to follow. There are industry chat sessions. There are interactive voice pitch, first page and first look sessions, and those are all very small. They're very intimate. You will get to ask the questions that you're dying to ask. You can buy 10 minutes for $10 opportunities. There are peer critique group sessions. Uh, what did I forget? Extras that you might have signed up for, a manuscript critique, a portfolio review. When it comes to taking flight, interstellar or otherwise, I'm going to quote Amelia Earhart, preparation is rightly two thirds of any venture. But you are doing more than just venturing. You are zooming at full speed ahead. So once you lift off on Friday, November 13th at noon, I want you to remember to make sure you have your personal launch page handy and that you've also gone into your virtual folder and printed out the calendar and schedule that Lisa Katzenberg has made for us. And you can update that calendar schedule. I'm not sure the title that it's gonna have yet. Uh, you can circle what your wants and needs and wishes are. You can underscore your extras and you can highlight the social events because the social events are a big part of this entire experience. We have Friday evening, 7 p.m. live stream, Celestial Crystal Kite Gala honoring Sarah Aronson. And then on Saturday evening, we have three socials. We have LGBTQ, PAL, and Illustrator. So these are good places for you to connect. Uh, to pay attention to the names and inside your virtual folder will be a listing of all of the social media addresses for the people you meet during these three days. Um, number, th um, I wasn't numbering these, but the next thing I want you to remember is to attend uh, many of the pre-recorded events again and again and again, because these will be available until November 23rd. And if there's something that you missed, you can return, or something that you liked, you can return. I want you to remember to visit our bookstore because before we know it, it's the holiday season and we have lots of opportunities now to buy these books. I want you to visit the portfolio showcase, especially if you're a picture book writer. Picture book writers have so much to learn. It's from true. All of, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ignoring Rich here. It's I'm okay. speaking to the audience. You have so much to learn from looking at the illustrations that, and, the, and the narrative that's in an illustration. So I want you to really make sure to do that. Uh, don't forget to follow the event on Twitter and on Facebook. We're using the hashtag FullZoomAhead1. FullZoomAhead1, capital F, capital Z, capital A. And we're going to, hopefully on Twitter, invite you to share your surprises, some golden nuggets, some ahas. Um, and finally, just remain open to surprise while you're flying about in the virtual world for three days. Now, once you're back in the real world, you should pat yourself on the back. You've accomplished this mission. You've splashed down. Uh, and we all know the end is really another name for the beginning. So uh, in, the virtual, in the virtual folder, I've included a handout of next steps. Uh, it begins with explore and connect with both SCBWI and your SCBWI chapter. Here in Illinois especially, we have so many opportunities uh, for learning, uh, for connecting. But I also include lots of verbs that begin with the prefix re as in revisit, and reread, and reconnect, and rewrite, and revise, and that's all so that you can ready your manuscript and then smartly target it, if appropriate, to the faculty member uh, that you've chosen. Um, I also recommend journaling, as if you're writing a letter to somebody, uh, this is what I just experienced and, and it was everything I expected and more, or it certainly didn't meet my expectations because. Uh, be very honest with what you learned, um, what surprised you, what your takeaways were, any golden nuggets. Uh, excellent news, full Zoom Ahead recordings will be available until November 23rd. 
And even more excellent news, in case you haven't signed up yet, our registration is open until October 30th. All you have to do is go to our SCBWI website, click on this gorgeous image by Gabriella Vagnoli for full zoom ahead. And before you know it, you too will be reimagining your children's book creator's journey. Finally, our keynote speaker, John B. Harrington, who's an author and an illustrator, this is his book, Mission to Space. He said, and I quote, it takes a lot of hard work to do something well. Buzz Aldrin, who, believe it or not, was rejected when he first applied to the NASA program, so that should make us all feel really good. <laughs> when you believe that all things are possible and you are willing to work hard to accomplish your goals, you can achieve the next impossible dream. No dream is too high. So you have my promise. You can do this. You can do it. Human potential expert Jean Houston, I love this quote that I'm going to share, said it best. We all have the extraordinary coded within us, just waiting to be released. So as your official flight director, I even have the insignia here for mission control from Houston. I wish you happy full zooming ahead, literally and figuratively. And I want you to remember one small click for you, one giant leap for your career. Now take it away, Rich. Thank you, Esther. We appreciate it. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few of the basic uh, technical details, and we're going to start with uh, a little before you blast off, we'll go over some intergalactic Zoom etiquette. So leading up to the event, first of all, what should you do? You've got to make sure you have downloaded Zoom, whether that be on your mobile phone, your iPad, your laptop, or desktop computer. Get yourself set up. The accounts are free. You might want to spend a little bit of time in there tinkering around to get to understand all the controls. Uh, familiarize yourself, as Esther had mentioned several times. Familiarize with yourself with how to use Zoom. You don't want to show up to the event nervous about clicking buttons. You want to feel comfortable. Uh, make sure you have everything that you need in front of you the morning of the event or the, before you go live on a critique. That could be pen and paper. You were mentioning journaling some notes and things along the way. Uh, having your laptop and device available to you and also that your batteries are charged and you have your charging cord on hand and plugged in because some of these events will be short and some could be long and you certainly don't want to be in the middle of a great social and all of a sudden your battery goes out and you miss out on part of the fun. Um, even though you're going to be zooming from home into outer space, you want to dress for success. Pretend like you are really at the event. Uh, folks folks won't see you maybe from the waist down on your desk, but make sure that you're looking your best. You're going to be interacting. This is truly interactive. It is not just watching videos. So you want to make sure you're interacting with the agent, the editor, the art director, other members. And so you would want to look good in person. You want to look good online. So dress for success. Um, log in maybe five to 10 minutes early before you get online. They'll, we'll be online. There'll be several of us that are part of the committee who will be there in the Zooms to help you get to where you need to go. If you're doing things like a one-on-one -on -one critique, we will be placing you into rooms with your critique peers. So you want to be on there a little bit ahead of time. Uh, make sure you're not feeling rushed or a little bit anxious. We always want to remind folks in person or virtually to be respectful and courteous. You don't want to say anything rude or be you know, a little bit uh, catty just because you can type it in a chat. If you wouldn't say it in person, you really shouldn't say it online. And another very strange one, but you really should not eat on camera. So if you are in your home and you're really hungry and you are about to have dinner, don't do that during a live session when your camera is on. It's distracting to the other viewers. It could be distracting to the presenter. And really, no one is wanting to sit and watch you eat in space, right? <laughs> right, Esther? So I'm please, please refrain from eating. By the way. Um. <laughs> so, next, we're going to share some screens here with you so that you can have a little bit of a better visual. Uh, but when you join conferences online, um, there are times where it will be social and you should have your microphones on and you can interact with each other. And there are other times where you should mute your microphone so that everyone can clearly hear the guest presenter or speaker. If individuals don't have their microphones muted, our team will be muting people um, by default, but any less interruptions keeps it meeting a much clearer presentation. And we want to make sure that everyone hear everything. 
So as I said, familiarize yourself with Zoom. In the lower left-hand corner, you'll see a button in your Zoom controls that allows you to easily mute or unmute your microphone. And if you do have questions that come up along a presentation, you can always type them in the chat. One of the committee members will either make sure that you're, they read out your question to the presenter, or we may ask you to unmute and go ahead and ask that question at an appropriate time in the presentation. So you can make sure your question is heard, but you just don't want to stop and interrupt the, the presenter. Uh, next, a couple of other small do's and don'ts as you prepare. Uh, we're going to talk about like lights, camera, and blasting off. So lighting. Uh, you'll see an example that's shared on screen here of a young man who is zooming where he's got a very bright window of sunlight behind him. You don't want to sit with a bright window of sunlight behind you because you will be eclipsed by the sun and we will only see you in shadow. Remember, you're putting yourself forward. You're presenting yourself to these presenters. You want to be seen in good light. So make sure that you're sitting with the light facing you so that you have a chance to shine. This is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I do believe the netiquette the Zoom etiquette uh, handout will be in your virtual, there will, virtual Yes, that is correct. Folder. There will also be a handout that also goes over all of those points as well. That's correct. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, the other tip for lights, camera, and blast off, you will have times where maybe your camera is on and we're seeing you live. If you turn your camera off, uh, Zoom defaults to just having your name presented there. We would encourage you to upload a really good selfie or a headshot if you have one, so that if you were to turn your camera off, once again, you're presenting a professional image of yourself. And I have uh, some details on the screen that will tell you that you can right click over your square in Zoom and you'll get a little drop down menu that allows you to uh, edit or add a profile photo. And so it will show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, remember, you know, art directors, agents, editors, they're gonna take notice of you and you wanna make sure, you know, once again, you're, you're always showcasing yourself to the best ability. Uh, and then the other thing you can do when you right click on your profile picture is you can adjust what your name appears like on your Zoom. We are asking all attendees to be able to use their full name we need to identify that you are a member of the, the conference, so you wouldn't want to have a nickname or just your email address. You want your proper first and last name, especially whatever you've registered under. And the other thing we're encouraging folks to do is to include after their name their pronouns. So for me, it would be Rich Green, he, him, his. Uh, if it was for Esther, it could be she, hers. Um, yeah, she, her. What am I missing? I'm missing one. No, just she and her. Yeah, she, her, she and her. She, uh, her, yeah. and hers. Hers, right, yes, correct. Uh, and that way, if someone is using pronouns and wants to feel comfortable, everyone knows how to refer to you, and it doesn't make it any, uh, any issue for, for folks to know how to properly address you. Uh, so I have that on screen to show you where to do that as well. Uh, up next, every once in a while, people will talk about uh, you know, this signal is traveling through satellites across the galaxy and the video starts to be a little bit jittery or the audio is lagging from the video. Uh, and that has a lot to do with the traffic on your, uh, your personal internet connection or Wi-Fi. So one of the things you can do to reduce that is to stop your video. It'll, it's, a little, it's a little icon in the bottom of Zoom that says stop video. People get a little nervous about clicking that because they think they're going to end the presentation. It has nothing to do with the presentation. It just turns off your camera from streaming you live. And so then that's where that profile picture will appear. And because you're not sending data to the server and getting data back, it oftentimes will make the playback of the presentation coming into you much smoother, less jittery, less jagged. So you would just stop video. So don't be afraid to stop video if you I start to I wish I notice. had known that last week. <laughs> yeah. It's a the handy Hershey little Felder trick. Show. Yeah, it's, yes. a li it's handy because right now everyone is online and sometimes things get a little wow. bit jittery. And then I just have a few final reminders before your launch. Um, as Esther had mentioned, share your experiences on social media using the hashtag full zoom ahead. Uh, one. Full, full zoom, zoom ahead, ahead one. one. Uh, but one thing you always have to remember is that the materials shared by speakers are proprietary and they belong to them. So you might want to do a little synopsis. I loved the presentation or the keynote had such a great point, but you don't want to try to share their actual slides or type out a whole list of everything they've taught you during that presentation. Just little highlights, but we do appreciate people sharing. Another point to mention is that SCBWI provides special assistance for those 
those who have disabilities or special needs. If you need uh, closed captioning, if you need a sign language interpreter or some other uh, specific need, reach out to our regional advisors, Deborah Topolsky or Jenny Wag, in advance of the conference, and they will make sure that that is set up and ready to go for everyone. But they do ask for a little bit of notice because they will have to schedule someone and make sure that those features are turned on. But we wanna make sure everyone across the galaxy has a great chance to, to understand the presentations and has everything they need to be successful. And then finally, I can't repeat this one enough, you've already covered it, but it's really important to me too, is to get to know the conference faculty ahead of time. Read their books, look at their illustrations, go out to their websites, look what they do for their publishing companies. You cannot spend too much time preparing in advance. The more you know about them, the better you'll be able to interact with them when you do have a session where you get to speak or ask questions. You might realize that your work is far closer in line with the work of one person than another if you've done the research. And so you wanna be putting your best foot forward. So I, I couldn't agree with you more there. And with that, I think that gets us started. There will be more information coming out about how to navigate the launch page and how to go through the virtual folders. Uh, that won't be part of the video today, but there will be another video that folks can look forward to that will come out at, closer to the around the event. So. And it will probably be available on the website. Correct, yes. As well. Correct. All of this information, uh, the, the scheduling, the faculty, et cetera, et cetera, uh, the opportunities, the social events. Many of the social events are live streamed on Facebook. Right. Actually, you don't even have to be a member to attend some of these social events. Correct. Uh, because they'll be face, uh, live streamed on our Facebook page. Um, so that website with this wonderful image, uh, just click on that and that'll give you lots of information. And you touched on it earlier too, just one more thing. The fact that things are either pre-recorded or recorded during the event and you can go back and re-watch them is so valuable. How many times have we been sitting in the audience copiously writing notes or loving some point of interaction and then you go home and you decompress and a week later you can't really remember what they said. You could watch it again. You could go back and watch that again and that is so powerful. So Until I'm really November glad. 23rd. Yeah, right. This but, is all available. Yes. And do pay attention to the names. I'm so glad they're adding the pronouns. And then if you... Um, it, it just might come up in conversation. Some of these chat rooms will be very small, perhaps nine people making a pitch. And if it looks like or it's mentioned this person lives near you, whatever, just write this name down. I, that's the one piece that I'm missing when we did this in live, uh, the orientation session. I used to make everybody introduce themselves to the person on the right, to the person on the left, to the person in front, to the person in back. So you at least know four people. But pay attention to the names that are there and the social media listing in your vir virtual folder uh, so that you can reconnect, especially with um, through our networks. Just pay right. attention. I, I, that's the one piece. I want to make sure everybody meets somebody. You always need one like-minded, like-hearted person to travel uh, this plot line with. If you're not totally sure about what the social media exchange is, there is a section that you signed up for or will sign up for if you have not registered that says you will participate in the social media exchange. You oh. will go back to the website. It's under the social uh, tab of the event and there is a dialog box there that allows you to fill in your name and all of those social accounts you're willing to share. If you're not sure where that is or you haven't done that yet, the committee is going to be sending everyone a reminder so that you have a chance to fill that out. And the power to there is, as Esther is mentioning, if you start to really connect with someone you've not met before in a social, for example, you can write their name down, go look them up in the social media exchange, connect on Instagram, connect on Twitter, something after the fact. So it's always gonna be social accounts, so it's safe and secure, but it allows you to build that sense of community and connection that we all love so much about going to the live events. Right. I have to say, as a former regional advisor, a former member of the regional advisor team, I mentioned we all have extraordinary coded within us. The planning team for this event is extraordinary to the 47th power. <laughs> it is extraordinary what they are offering you, not just pre-recorded sessions like this, interactive sessions so you can ask questions, receive answers, 
uh, follow through, follow up, do all of these things that you could do in person. This was quite the undertaking. I was really glad I wasn't the regional advisor <laughs> at this particular point because people who know me know what a technophobe I am and how far I've come. Extraordinary. And if you have a chance in a chat box to say thank you to our amazing regional advisors, illustrator coordinator, assistant regional advisor, you need to learn your network rep, which is our illustrator network rep. Um, this is an extraordinary event. Extraordinary. And good luck. Happy traveling. <laughs>